Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I went and saw my auntie and uncle a few days ago and noticed that they were going to throw an old coffee table out. But this is solid oak and with the wood prices nowadays, I think that we can turn this into a profit. Now some of the pieces are just too damaged. It's got too many holes and are not very good. And these ones have got some water damage, but I think we'll be okay once we get them through our planer. Now let's see how much money we can make. From the top plate, I'll do two of these, and let's see how many Christmas trees I can get out of it. All done. Now I'll start to cut all the pieces for both trees. Now I already made these trees, so you can find a link for each video down below. So for the next part, we're gonna fast forward a little bit. But before we do that, I just wanna mention that I got enough pieces for two of these and three of the Christmas tree. Alright, done with the top plate. I've got two of the big trees and I've got three of the Christmas trees. And in my area, these are selling for 54 euros a piece and these 24 euros a piece. So I've made 180 euros so far, which I think is pretty good. And the surface treatment for these are done with Danish oil, of course. Now let's see what we can do with the legs. Now from the legs, I'm going to build a few of these owls and some of these houses. They're super easy to do and they look pretty cool. And with these simple houses and owls, you can easily scale them up or down. You can use one by one, two by two, three by three or four by four. It doesn't really matter. Now let me show you how to make them. Top part has been cut off and I'm gonna run these through the planer and clean them up. All done, turned out pretty good. And I'll start making the small houses. Top part is just a 45 degree cut and a 90 degree cut in the bottom. And then we can do different length. Put the blade in a 45 degree angle. I use a stop right here. When you do use a stop, you can just flip the piece around, make the cut again, and the pointy part will automatically be centered right here. Then we flip the blade up in a 90 degree angle and cut the length. Give them all a quick sand and the next step now is surface tree. I had enough pieces to make five owls and now I'll mark the eye of the owl. These are 75 by 75 so I'm marking 30 mil this way and 30 mil that way. 30 and 30. Here we go. Once I've made my markings, I'm just going to give it a bit of a tap with this. This is just to help the drill bit find its center when we start drilling the eyes. You can use different drill bits to change the facial expression of the owls, but you can play around with that. Before I start drilling the eyes, I'll just mark this bit right here that's going to be cut off on the bandsaw. I'll find the center. You can choose whatever you want. I'll just take 10 mil. And then I'll cut this off on the bandsaw. But let's go drill the eyes.
I'll use a sander for this bandsaw cut before I mark up the next cut. And I have the same distance again. And we'll cut that off. Right, they're all being sanded and we could actually just leave them as they are here because they look pretty cool, I think. But I want to give them this sort of beacon here and I'll do that with my sander. Now it's a good thing we had these off cuts because I just made a small test to see if it was possible and it turned out pretty good. But I do recommend that you do have a few test uh, pieces that you can practice on because it's, it's a bit difficult to get it even. Now I'll make a few lines to help me get it even. I measure 3.5 centimeters this way and 3.5 this way and connect these two. There we go. And this is just random. You can move this up and down and it will change the expression of the owl. So I want it to stop here. I'm using a grid 60 because there's a lot of material that we need to take off. Getting there, there's a lot of material to take off and if you have a stationary belt sander that will be ideal. And this line right here really helps me to get it uh, even. Two done, now I just need to make the rest. I've peeled off all the tape and now I'll give it a quick sand on all sides. The tape prevented the paint to go into the raw timber. Be gentle with the sanding when you start to sand these edges right here because if you added too much paint it can sort of chip off. All right, we're all done. Let's see what we've got. We've got 180 euros for the Christmas trees and the two big trees. We've got 20 euros per owl, so that's 100 euros. We've got 10 euros per house, so that's 70 euros. So a grand total of 350 euros. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. But before you go, please like and subscribe below.